hi guys what's up and welcome back to Cebu International Academy and today we are having another interesting video with this guy right here are you excited yes this is Cebu International Academy and Cebu International Academy is a language school that is located at Lapu Lapu Cebu City Philippines and we are just gonna be discussing about studying in the Philippines as foreigners you know learning English in the Philippines life in the Philippines and everything you need to know so make sure you definitely keep watching What is your name and where are you from? So, my name is Ivan Kirkin and I'm from Russia. Is this your first time in the Philippines? Well, it's actually not because I've been in CIA uh, on previous year oh. and um, I just, you know, studied here on ESL course. So, I guess <laughs> it's not my first and last time here. When was your first time in the Philippines? Yeah, uh, so first time when I come here was in this 2023 in October. And you also came to CIA to study? Yes. Wow, that's good to know. Who introduced you to CIA? If I'm not wrong, my parents just found that your school and they decided to offer me to enroll in this school to study English. So I said, why not? Let's give it a shot. Okay, that's good to know. That's really amazing. By the way, I forgot to ask you because I know people might be wondering where you are from. So where are you from? So to be more specific, I'm from Moscow, the capital of Russia. Oh. Uh, and I live actually near the Moscow city, which is the center of our capital. Mm. And that place is actually amazing. So I would recommend you to visit that one time. Oh, that's good. So do you still live in Russia now? uh actually no i me in my family decided to travel to indonesia because mm. there is more opportunities in living and working and also my some of my family members live there so it's easier to find place to live and actually a uh, job mm. you and your family now are all living in indonesia but you're originally from Russia. Exactly. Did you guys recently, you know, migrated to Indonesia or it's been long you've been living in Indonesia? We migrated in 2022, if oh. I'm not wrong, actually, because oh. I don't uh, remember the exact dates. Oh. So it's been a two years, I guess. Oh, wow. There was a war going on between Russia and Ukraine. Was that part of the reason why you guys moved? Were you affected by the war? Yeah, it's... Uh, actually a part of reason it's uh, one of the main reasons how has that you know journey or how has the migration made you feel you know knowing that you guys have to leave your country you know to another mm. person's country or something i was sad because i have to leave my some of my family members my grandma my grandpa my i don't know my uncle my dad my uh niece and uh, that was sad mm. but I just accepted it like I had to do that I had no other choice and mm -hmm. that's all I had to do so what was your first impression about CIA at first I thought it's a little bit scary there Why? Is, there is many unknown people that don't speak my native language don't speak Russian and I had to like use my all English skills in order to communicate with them mm -hmm. and for me it was a uh, pure stress <laughs> I did, yeah, I was first alone here, second, I had to live in a known area of unknown people that don't speak Russian mm -hmm. and that was a little bit terrifying for you, for me, but I adapted to it, so now I feel confident in myself, I feel like I can speak with everyone that I want to like interact with how long have you been in cia now we're saying about total time so 10 weeks for esl course in 2023 mm -hmm. then 12 weeks during the ielts 
plus four on the next week. I lost equally, count already. <laughs> yeah, it's 26 weeks. So you've spent 26 weeks in total in CIA with the past years that you've been here. Yes. But exactly. presently, how long have you been now? 22 weeks. Wow, that's long. That's more than five months already mm -hmm. in CIA. And why am I just seeing you last month? I don't know. It seems like I'm very sneaky <laughs> <laughs> what was your first impression about the philippines first i compared it to indonesia and they're kind of much the same so i felt uh, felt the same atmosphere here and i wasn't really confused about it mm -hmm. so for me it was something familiar and recognizable mm -hmm. and i felt kind of much the same with the uh, indonesia on philippines you've seen it all in indonesia so there was really nothing you know that was much of a first experience for you because the Philippines and Indonesia are similar, right? Yep. Okay, exactly. that's good to know. So what do you think about education in CIA? I love it. I just love it. It's amazing because it's not like in Russia where I have to be officially uh, official addressed. I have to follow the dress code and mm -hmm. I have to like interact with the teachers um, correctly. In, not in my way, but here I can wear anything I want, mm -hmm. uh, anything I like and anything that is suitable for the day. I can talk with teacher on any topics, mm -hmm. like literally on any topics. And uh, not only improve my English skills, English speaking skills, mm -hmm. but also like know my teacher even more mm -hmm. so we could communicate even more. In the future what are the three best things you love the most about cia uh, how it mentioned before education accommodation actually those rooms are amazing i love them so do you have roommates oh yeah i oh. i have oh and your roommates are from which country one roommate is from taiwan and another one is from saudi arabia so what is the third thing you love the most about cia and people here oh people here because of their culture of their language mm -hmm. and also of their personality. Mm -hmm. Do you find it difficult making friends in CIA? It's actually a piece of cake because all of the students here are connected with one purpose, mm -hmm. studying English. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of easy to make friends here mm -hmm. because they want to improve English. Mm -hmm. So it's better to talk uh, English with someone else mm -hmm to get even better wow that's amazing so it's like you don't have a choice but to make friends you have to make friends at all costs and what do you like about the philippines weather weather atmosphere and islands have you been to other places apart from cebu yeah okay. i've been in manila one time yeah uh -huh. you've only been to manila yeah you've never been to other islands actually not really? well, i plan to i plan to but still couldn't realize that uh -huh. what is your plan after cia well since i did not finish my high school yet mm -hmm. i have to get a high school degree mm -hmm. uh that's gonna take two more years but before that i have to visit my own country mm -hmm. because i'm planning to continue my education in uh, Indonesia. Would you recommend foreigners to come to CIA to study? Sure, why not? I would really recommend people to visit CIA to improve their English and be more confident in themselves. Do you have any culture shocks about the Philippines? I think it's about food. Mm. Yeah, it was a culture shock at first, but I adapted to it. Wow, so you like the food now? Yeah. And also the food that has been served in CIA, you really enjoy it. Yeah, I really enjoy it. Wow. It's <laughs> it's 100 times better than in Russian schools. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And also, what can you say about the classes? What is one thing that stands out to you on how CIA teachers relate to the students? I don't think I have anything against it. Like, teacher interact with students in their own ways. And all of them are like unique but all of them are acceptable according to my personal experience i never never saw someone like um uh, treating me bad mm. for me teachers interaction with the students is quite good my last question for you will be 
in all of CIA facilities, what is your best spot here at CIA? <laughs> okay, to be honest, there is two actually places where you can rest or even look for beautiful views. Mm -hmm. It's my room and roof of the CIA. Ah. After studying, are you going to take the IELTS? I want to change my course from IELTS general to academic because I see that academic level is a bit harder and actually it's more prestige mm -hmm. in the world than general level. So after high school and after completing everything, you want to proceed for college in Indonesia? Mm. I'm thinking about enrolling in cooking university in France. Oh, because, you yeah, love cooking? Yeah, I really love cooking and actually I want to make it my major, my major job in future. Wow. So would you consider coming to the Philippines for college? Yeah, that's actually possible. But I'm not sure about it, but everything is, mm -hmm. can be in the future. So guys, we've come to the end of this video. Thank you so much, Ivan, for your time. I really appreciate it. And let us know what you think down in the comment section below. And we'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye. Make your story with CIA.